Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blonga.com and today we're going to review Nimble CRM. This application will help you leverage social media to gather information about your contacts as well as managing your sales pipeline. Let's start. Nimble is a CRM focused on contact management, so a lot of the features are oriented to contacts. You can also track your deals and sales pipeline here, but the features are more limited. For this review, we're using the Nimble business version, which is the only version available. When you log in into Nimble, you start on your dashboard, which is called Today. Here, you will see a snapshot of what's going on in the CRM. You can add or remove widgets from this page, so it shows the information that you need. On the top, you will find the navigation bar that you can use to switch between modules, like contacts, deals, and reports. You can also find a search bar to search for any records. And on the right, you can see the notification center, as well as your profile picture that you can use to access your account, settings, and more. When you open a module, you can see the list of records in it, in this case, contacts. In the center of the screen, you can see all the contacts segmented by the selected setting on the left. You can also create your own segments. If you want to create a new contact, just click on the button and complete the fields. To open a record, just click on it. Here you can see all the information related to this contact. In the center you will find the interactions, data fields, company info, social profiles, and more. Nimble CRM focuses on contact management, that's why the contact profile has so much information. Also, it connects with all the major social networks, which it uses to pull information about the contact. When you open the deals module, you can see the deals organized in a Canva view. And if you click on any deal, you will open it. The information about the deal is basic, just showing the stage in the pipeline, value and activities. You can also find the related contacts on the right. Something that I notice here is that the design is not consistent with the design on the contacts profile, something that happens across Nimble. Regarding features, I think the main feature of Nimble is that you can connect it to pretty much all the major social networks and you can use the information available to build up your contacts profile. So if you normally find prospects on social media like Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn, this CRM could work great for you. Another feature related to the previous one is that you can connect Nimble to other platforms where you have contacts like your Gmail account or another CRM and use Nimble to centralize or unify your contacts and also find information about those contacts in social media. The last feature I want to mention is group messages that you can use to send emails to a group of people. These emails are sent out from your email like Gmail or Outlook so there is a big chance that they won't end up in a spam folder. Let's talk about customization. There are not many parts of Nimble that you can customize, but the basics are covered. You can create email templates that you can use to respond to your contacts, but this is plain text only. You can't create an HTML template. You can also create and customize pipelines and change the amount ranges that are used to set up the list view in the deals module. Another way to customize the CRM is to add custom fields so you can collect the information you need. But this feature is limited to people and companies records you can't add custom fields to deals. The last thing I will mention is that you can also customize the activity types. And that's about it. There are some features missing, like the capacity to create custom modules, add custom fields to the deals module, and it is missing other customization features that are related to marketing, like a web chat or email marketing templates, because there is no marketing features in this CRM. Regarding automations, there are not many automations available in this CRM. Other CRMs have the capacity to create workflows to automate tasks, update fields, and more. Those features are not available in Nimble. The only automation I can think of is that when you add a social profile to a contact, it will automatically grab the information about the contact from the internet, so you have to manually enter the info. Let's review integrations. I would say the main integration of Nimble is the capacity to connect to a lot of different social networks so you can use them as a way to interact with your contacts and prospects. You can also connect Nimble to other CRMs like ActiveCampaign, Freshworks CRMs and HubSpot so you can centralize your contacts. But these connections are meant to centralize your contacts in Nimble. There is no two-way sync between the systems. Regarding two-way sync integrations, you can connect your Gmail account, Google Calendar account, as well as your Office 365 account. And the cool thing is that you can connect multiple Google or Office 365 accounts at the same time. Finally, I wanted to mention that there is a tab called Integrations where you can find other apps that connect to Nimble, like Pandadoc or MailChimp. 
and there is also a marketplace where you can find more integrations but the majority of them are done via Zapier which is not a native integration. If you want to learn more about Zapier I have videos about this on this channel. I will leave a link in the video description. If you have to set up Nimble for your company, it won't take up a lot of effort. When you start, there is an onboarding checklist that shows you how to do it. If you have any issues, you can contact support or use the help articles. Adding new users and creating groups is straightforward, as well as connecting the different contact sources like email accounts or social media. Customizing the CRM is also easy because there are not many options here. I think the most difficult part would be to set up any automations you might need because there is a big chance you're going to have to use Zapier or other automation software given that there are no automations available in Nimble. The last thing we're going to go over is pricing. There is only one plan available which is Nimble Business Plan that costs $25 per user per month billed monthly. This plan includes all the features we went over in this review. If you would like to try the CRM, you can do it for free. The trial period lasts 14 days. If you or your company are contact focused and rely on social media to find prospects and enrich other contacts profiles, this CRM is for you. As I mentioned before, it connects to all the major social platforms and uses the information available on the internet to give you more insights about your prospects. But if you're not being on social media and are looking for a robust CRM experience that focuses on other aspects like deals management, I would go for a different CRM. For example, if you have a construction company, you will need to store a lot of information about each deal, which is not possible with this CRM. Other alternatives that are a better fit if you don't need the social media features are Pipedrive CRM, which is a overall great CRM or HubSpot CRM, which is free and integrates with the rest of the HubSpot products. Also, if you're looking for advanced features, you could try Soho CRM. I already reviewed all the apps that I mentioned, so I will leave the links in the description. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up. I have a question for you. Are you currently using a CRM? And if you do, which one are you using? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, I have other videos about different CRMs on this channel, so feel free to check them out. Thanks for watching.